Good evening. I'm Chris McKitterick, science fiction writer, editor, teacher, and director of the Center for the Study of Science Fiction. Perhaps the humanity's greatest power arises from expressing the human experience, helping the audience empathize with people very different from themselves. In the present moment, that includes exploring what it's like to live through history in the making. Science fiction is the literature of the human species encountering change. Even deeper, it is an eschatological literature, speculating on the beginnings and endings of life, the universe, and everything. And oh boy, 2020 is the year apocalyptic fiction came to rest in our lives. This year has brought plagues, threats of world war, countless government follies, and the pandemic. And that's only in the first few months. What comes next? What shape will our world take once everything settles into a new normal? And what happens to those who live through this moment? This is the job of science fiction writers, studying innovations and disruptions coming from and affecting science, technology, and society, observing how people respond, speculating on the shape of things to come, and then bringing these visions to life through human narratives, and hopefully entertaining people along the way. Tonight, I'm pleased to present an award to honor one of these student creators. The University of Kansas's Gunn Center for the Study of Science Fiction, the world's first such research center, also offers scholarships for science fiction studies at KU. Last year, we gave four travel awards to help graduate students present their research around the world. Obviously, no one is traveling this summer, so... However, we also occasionally offer graduate research assistantships. For the coming year, we hope to offer at least one such position and have some really cool projects lined up. If you're interested in working as the center's next GRA, contact me or Kiz Johnson for details. Now, for tonight's award. I established the James Gunn Award for Outstanding Science Fiction Writing in 2005 to honor Professor Emeritus James Gunn, the center's founder, one of KU's most widely recognized faculty, and my mentor. Gunn began publishing in 1948 and has since seen more than 100 short stories, 20 edited collections, and three dozen books show up in bookstores, with three new ones out last year at age 96. He's won the Hugo Award, was named Grand Master by the Science Fiction Fantasy Writers of America, and was inducted into the Science Fiction Hall of Fame. Most relevant for us here tonight, Jim has mentored countless authors, editors, scholars, and educators who journeyed to the University of Kansas to study science fiction, and through this, greatly shaped the field. Like so many others, I have this man to thank for a life in science fiction. In addition to a cash prize, winners receive acceptance into, and partial or full scholarship, to attend my annual speculative fiction writing workshop in the summer. In the last couple of years, five winners of the award have attended. I've continued Gunn's tradition of inviting high-profile workshop alums to serve as special guest instructors so attendees can enjoy diverse expert advice. For the past few years, that's been Pat Cadigan, award-winning author and female, sole female founder of Cyberpunk, and herself a KU alum. Okay. This year's James Gunn Award for Outstanding Science Fiction Writing goes to Violet McClendon for her lovely and relevant story, Too Human. Congratulations again, Violet. Con contact me if you're interested in participating in the workshop in the next couple of years. And good luck, everyone. Congratulations to all tonight's winners.